So we built our first glow zone here in Brampton on McLaughlin Road. It's been open now four and a half years, but really you have to go back almost six and a half is when we first started thinking about doing our own thing. But that's how long it takes. It took us a year and a half just to find a location and then months and months and months of hurdles to figure out the financing. It's not cheap to build one of these. Um, get the financing in place, borrow the money and, uh, and remortgage our houses and all those things that we did to, to get the doors open. And then instead of just enjoying the profit that finally came in year three, we took all of that money and we did it again in Mississauga. <laughs> so it, it's, uh, you know, it, it's fun. It's scary. A lot of days it's scary, especially this, you know, during these times, but the fun of it, the joy that we put on people's faces makes it all worthwhile. I think that first and foremost, we're, we're a place for the community. You know, the amount of birthday parties we do, the team parties, um, the, the different celebrations. We're, we're a place where people come to celebrate, where people come to be together, to, to interact in a fun, safe, active environment. And it's, it's a, lot of, a lot of fun to do that. We also love to give back to the community. One of the first things we did, even before we opened the doors in Brampton, was we reached out to big brothers and big sisters and we said, we want to give you 10 transferable passes so that all your bigs can bring all of your littles to glow zone whenever they want. And after that first year happened, they called us and said, can we keep coming? We said, of course you can. And when we opened up Mississauga, we did the same thing. So now there's 20 passes out there. So on any given day, 20 people, can come with their littles to have a really fun experience. We love it. You know, it, it's, it's a really good place to connect. I think that all small businesses like ours, the, the family entertainment centers, the bowling alleys, the, um, the treetop trekkings, the control V's, there's, there's so many just in Brampton alone. I think we all play a role in tourism. I know, you know, we, we know that for the most part, um, we're dealing with the locals and we're, we're supporting the locals. But we also have tons of teams that come in from out of, out of province or out of city who are here for tournaments. We have um, people come in from the airport. If they have a four or five hour layover, they come in with their families. Over 20% of our business is actually people who don't live in Brampton or don't live in Mississauga. And that's really important. That's new money. That's new money coming into this municipality and new money that's going into the pockets of our staff who then go spend it other places in town. I think that having a, r a robust tourism uh, offering and, and working with others to create a destination is vitally important. So while we're closed now, we hope to open. We're working really hard with, uh, with Attractions Ontario, and the Tourism Industry Association of Ontario and all sorts of others to, to work through this and figure out how businesses like ours can mitigate the lost revenues so that we are in a position to reopen. And when we do reopen, we are going to welcome you all with open arms. If you're anything like me, you're going a little squirrely being at home. This background here of us going through the, the, the mini golf courses is the closest I've been to outside in days. So. <laughs> So I'm, I'm looking, looking forward to seeing everyone back at Glow Zone when we reopen. And thanks for the opportunity to let you get to know us a bit better.